everyone, welcome back to another knot series video. We'll be going over how to make the eternity knot. This knot can be used as a decorative knot in plant hangers and wall hangings. Instead of using the popular barrel knot, you can use the eternity knot instead at the fringe ends. It is also a popular knot for making jewelry. I will be showing you two ways to make the eternity knot. The first way is horizontally using one strand of cord, and the second way is vertically using one strand of cord. With that, let's begin. Starting with the horizontal eternity knot, I have one strand of cord about 40 centimeters long here, and then I'm going to make a loop in the center by folding the right side over the left. Then on the right side, next to it, scrunch up a part of the string together to form a loop and then take that loop and place it within the left loop and then pull on the left cord to tighten. This is a slip knot. Take the right end and weave it through the loop from front to back. Turn the back side to the front and then twist the right loop. And then place the left end through the loop. Pull on the cord end to tighten. And this is a horizontal eternity knot. We will now make a vertical eternity knot. It is made the exact same way as a horizontal one. You just look at it a little differently. Start by taking the right side and folding it over to the left to form a loop. Then on the right side, we'll scrunch up a part of the cord and form another loop. Then weave it through the top loop. Then pull on the top end of the cord to tighten the knot. Take the bottom end and weave it through the loop from front to back. Then turn the pattern upside down and form another loop with the right loop by twisting the loop. Then place the left cord end through that loop that we had just made. Pull on the cord end to tighten the knot. You have now made a vertical eternity knot. I hope you guys enjoyed today's knot tutorial. If you guys have any questions about this knot, let me know in the comment section below. And if you're interested in any of the supplies I used in today's tutorial, check out the link in the video description below. Thanks, and I'll see you guys next time.